let's talk about consanguinity. What's consanguinity? You might have heard about this terminology. It simply means, you know, a state of family members or people who are closely related by blood getting married to each other, okay? Or amongst, you know, amongst one another. Now, what are the disadvantages of consanguinity? Why shouldn't you marry your brother, your sister, your cousin? Apart from the religious and cultural disadvantages in most cultures, not all cultures, there are some cultures in the world where consanguinity is normalized, where it's practiced. There are some cultures in the world where it used to be practiced, but it has been phased out. Apart from the cultural and religious uh, disadvantages. There are also biological or genetic disadvantages to consanguinity. Now, there's something called mutation. Mutation is where there's a defect in a gene. Now, genes are what code the, the information that are responsible for virtually everything about us. Now, if there's a mutation, if there's a defect, you can imagine it like a wound, an injury to that code, okay, to that, to that gene. If there's an injury or a defect, it might present itself. It might be dominant, which means once it's, once it's present, it manifests. It can you know, manifest as a disease. Sometimes a defect in a gene could be recessive, which means an individual might have that defect. When you look at them, they might not be manifesting the disease or the, or, or, or the defects physically. They might not manifest it. So it might be recessive. Now, genetic defects, which are called mutations, is not unlikely to find them within people of similar familial heritage. Or it is possible that maybe a person with a defect very likely, you know, uh, inherited it. If it's an inherited mutation, very likely inherited it from either the mom or the dad or both. There's also a likelihood that that person's sibling might have inherited a defected or a, you know, a defective gene as well, or an injured gene. Or your cousin, you know, if that gene was passed down from your grandfather, there's a likelihood that you and your cousin might share similar, you know, defective genes. Now, when both of you get married, or if both of you get married, you and your sibling or your, or your cousin, and both of you carry defective genes for a particular disease what then happens is that there's a likelihood that the defective gene from yourself and your cousin or your sibling will combine and if previously those defective genes were hidden or recessive when they combine they might not manifest so you might not find that the child from such a marriage might not have that medical condition and something today Cheers.